Hello friends. Today in this video, we are going to talk about the differences between CloudFormation, CDK and Terraform. So the license. So all these three um, products that we are going to talk about today have open source license and support. CDK is supported by AWS and CloudFormation is supported by AWS and an open source community. And Terraform is supported by HashiCorp and the open community. So third party resource providers, meaning if you want to have custom resources that needs to be provisioned, you would be able to define those custom resources. CDK, CloudFormation and Terraform all support this third party resource providers. And languages. What language is being used to provision the resources on these tools. CDK supports TypeScript, JavaScript, Python, and Java. CloudFormation supports JSON and YAML. Terraform supports HCL, which is a human readable format, which was introduced by HashiCorp. State management, which means what is the current state of a resource um, that has been provisioned and what is the last known state of that resource that was provisioned. Those details are stored in the tools so that like when a new change comes in, they would be able to compare it with the current state and then make changes accordingly. CDK uses cloud formation stacks to store the states. Cloud formation uses the stacks to manage the state. Terraform um, has multiple options. If you're using an open source Terraform, you would be able to save it to a local file. But if you have other license like uh, Terraform Cloud, then you would be able to store the state in Terraform Cloud. If you have a Terraform Enterprise, you would be able to even store it in a S3 or a DynamoDB. Change management. So whenever a change comes in, how do you compare the change with the current state? So in CDK, the desired state, whatever the user wants to have the resource to be in, that state is compared with the state that is stored in the stack. Cloud formation has something called change sets that will be used to verify the changes before you actually apply them. Terraform also has a similar service called as Terraform plan, which can be used to look at the changes that is going to be applied to the resource before you even actually apply them. Error handling rollback. So whenever um, a resource is not being able to provision or it ends up in a messed up state, CDK would be able to roll it back to the version that it was working before. So CDK and CloudFormation supports this error handling rollback but Terraform does not support the error handling rollback. Drift detection. So drift detection means the change of a resource over time. So the change can come from within the uh, own tool or it can be done outside via uh, another tool to manage the resource. So if the change happened via some other tool outside, and the resource has been modified, then there is a drift between the resource stored in the state management and the actual resource in the real world. So CDK CloudFormation and Terraform has services to figure out whether the drift has occurred or not. So using which you would be able to figure the drift and then modify your state files accordingly and then apply the resource on top of them. Dependency management. So dependency management means you would be able to view what are all the dependencies of the resources that you are going to provision. CDK has an option to view the dependency management using the Visual Studio Code plugin and CloudFormation has AWS CloudFormation Designer 
using which you would be able to figure out the dependency. Terraform has Terraform graph service which would be able to give you the dependency between the resources. Multi-cloud management. CDK and cloud formation would be able to provision resources only inside the AWS cloud. Terraform is cloud agnostic so it would be able to provision resource on any of the public clouds or even private clouds maintained in big enterprises. So these are all the basic differences between CDK, CloudFormation and Terraform. Each of them has their own pros and cons. There are other tools out there which does a similar infrastructure as a code. Um, Microsoft provides a tool called ARM templates and there is a, another open source uh, tool uh, which is called as Pulumi. If you want to learn about ARM templates or Pulumi, please uh, mention in the comments so that I will make a video on those. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon if you want to be notified of the new videos. Thank you. Bye bye.